All right, church, so we're going to read in Matthew chapter 20 today, and I uh, just want to get right at the reading. I'm going to read a little bit more scripture than we usually do, but then the mother of James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus with her sons. She knelt respectfully to ask a favor. What is your request? He asked. She replied, in your kingdom, let my two sons sit in places of honor next to you, one on your right and the other on your left. But Jesus answered by saying to them, you don't know what you're asking. It, are you able to drink the bitter cup of suffering that I'm about to drink? Oh, yes, they replied. We are able. Jesus told them, you will indeed drink from my bitter cup. But I have no right to say who will sit on my right or on my left. My father has prepared those places for the ones that he has chosen. When the ten other disciples heard what James and John had asked, they were indignant. But Jesus called them together and said, You know that the rulers in this world lorded over their people, and the officials flaunt their authority over those under them. But among you, it will be different. Whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first among you must become your slave. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. So as we look at the context of the scripture today, I want to encourage you. One of the things that is so different about the heart of God and the transformation that takes place in the heart of the believer is not about us. And in the world and in our culture specifically, everything's about me. And, and improving, getting better, more of whatever, being respected, higher position, authority, etc. And so, you know, even the way that the, the common person looks for a church, we want to see what the church can provide for me and my family and how we can be served. And Jesus is like, this is not the way it is among believers. We're here to serve. And so I want to challenge you in your own heart about the way you are perceiving, looking, and acting is are you looking to be served or are you looking to serve see jesus said it won't be like this among you it's not about a position you hold a title you have it's not about that what people can do for you he's called us to serve now i know that i've talked about servant for serving in the past multiple times but if you notice throughout the scriptures we are being called in this capacity constantly and it's because our flesh desires to be served and the spirit is leading us to serve let's look for opportunities to bring glory to god by serving others today and let's be assured god bless you today